Hi friends, Right Careers welcomes you to another brand new video for this week. This is Yes Sudarshan, your career coach. Before we get on to this week's topic, the customary thing, in case you have subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you so much and in case you haven't, do click on the subscription button and also you know the bell button for instant notifications of all career and parenting related week, uh, videos on a regular basis. Now moving on to this week's topic, are you tech savvy or are you someone who is quite interested in machines, in robots, then this career, this, this particular topic is for you. Uh, the topic that we have taken for this week is how to become a robotics engineer right from the scratch, right after your 12th standard, how do you become a robotics engineer is what we are going to discuss. Now before we see how do you become a robotics engineer, we need to understand what is robotics engineering. Right, so robotics engineering is a multidisciplinary engineering, multidisciplinary engineering. Now it involves branches or rather principles from computer science engineering, electrical engineering and mechanical engineering. So when these three branches of engineering culminates or joins together, that forms the robotics engineering. So it is, as I told you at the beginning, it is a multidisciplinary engineering that has subjects or disciplines from all three branches of engineering that includes the computer science, mechanical engineering and electrical engineering. Now it deals, robotics engineering deals with constructing of robots, operations of robo and maintenance of robots. So you know for what we do for creating automated process. So robots are built by robotics engineer, robots are maintained by robotics engineer and robots are operated and by robotics engineer. So this is exactly what a robotics engineer do. So what are the subjects that you would be studying? I told you it's a culmination of three multidisciplinary branches. So what are the subjects that you'd be studying in this engineering? Definitely computer science, uh, definitely the foundation to robots, the dynamics to robot. And then you'll also study a lot about math algorithm, calculus part. You'll also study about electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, physics, so on and so forth. So you'll study subjects from all these three branches of engineering. In, if, you, if you pursue robotics engineering as a career. Now how do you become a robotics engineer? Let us talk about the academic route. After your 10th plus 2 in science, physics, chemistry, physics, chemistry, max group, you can pursue a B.Tech in robotics engineering. These days some universities, many universities including IITs offer B.Tech in robotic engineering or else you can pursue say a mechatronics or mechanical engineering and specialize and, and interdisciplinary courses are available in some of the universities and college. You can take those B.Tech in computer science with robotics is a very common program. B.Tech me, B mechatronics is a very common program. Mechanical with robotics is also a common program. So these are the subjects or rather the, you know, the branches that you can study to pursue a career in robotics engineering. Moving on, what are the professional career opportunities that are there in robotics engineering? The first professional career opportunity that I can think of is a robotic programmer. So as the name itself suggests, they are the one, they are the ones who produces the robots. So they manufacture the robots, they design the robot, they build the robot and implement the automation process, entire automation process that is involving, that's involved in creating a robot, building a robot is done by a robotics programmer. So that's the first professional career opportunity. The second professional career opportunity that I can think of is a robotic systems engineer. Once again, as the name itself suggests, these are people, these are professionals who use uh, technologies like CAD CAM, uh, computer aided design or computer aided manufacturing etc to build robots. So to build the robotic system. So computer ro robotic system engineers are ones who use technologies like CAD CAM to develop robotic systems. So that's the second professional career opportunity that I can think of. The third professional career opportunity that I can think of is a robot design engineer. Once again, once the robots are designed by robots programmer, it is given to the robot design engineer. So what robot design engineers do, they customize according to a different different industry. For example, the robots that are required in a manufacturing setup will be very different from the robots that are required in a service industry or a hotel industry or a you know photography industry. So these this robot design engineers customize as per industry and for business purposes. So that's the third professional career opportunity. The fourth professional career opportunity they can think of is a robot test engineer, the responsible for testing. These are the people who are responsible for testing the designed logos. Now they are the one who will actually validate the quality and approve that the robot is functioning as per the prescription. It cannot function beyond you know what it is prescribed, it, it cannot. So these are the ones who finally test and uh, make sure that it works as per the guidelines. So these are the four professional career opportunities that I can think of. 
Now moving on, another important uh, point, who recruits robotics engineer? Now let me, before we see who and all are the companies that recruits, which companies recruits robotics engineer, we need to know an interesting statistics. By 2030, which is not far off, which is another eight years from now, the market size of robotics engineering, robotics industry, not robotics engineering, robotics industry is expected to cross $215 billion dollars growing at a compounded annual growth rate of 22.5 percentage that's the research source of mrfr so this industry is here to stay it's here to grow 22.5 percentage growth year on year is a huge growth for any industry and robotics definitely fits there so now who recruits this the robotics engineer both government and private if you take government you know organizations like isro drdo uh, bhel bharat heavy electric limited and then iits they recruit. You can always take an academic route, get into teaching. A lot of private companies do recruit robotics engineers for building their own processes, building their own setups. You can become an entrepreneur. I know many robotics professionals are on their own. So definitely entrepreneurship is something. Uh, the startup industry also recruits a lot of robotics engineers. So these are some of the industries that recruit robotics engineers. Now, how to become a robotics engineer? There is only two routes. One, you have to earn a related degree. Now, unless and until you don't earn a related degree, it is very difficult to become a robotics engineer. I have told you what are the degrees that you can pursue to become a robotics engineer. Uh, full-time role is definitely warranted. Full-time engineering program or full-time courses on robotics is definitely warranted. That's the first, first way. The second important thing is develop the required skills. Now, it requires solid fundamentals, solid skills to excel, to make a career in robotics. As I told you, it's multidisciplinary, which means you got to be strong in subjects like programming, calculus, mathematics, statistics, automation, etc. So if you're strong, definitely you develop these skills in addition to the required education qualification, then you can become a robotics engineer. Now, though, to conclude, though not two robotics engineers have a similar career path, robotics engineering is definitely, you know, the above steps will make you a very good robotic engineer. Not only that, if you're looking at a lucrative career, if you're looking at a rewarding career that's going to be on a long-term basis, pursuing robotics engineering should definitely be there right at the top of your preference if you're strong and if you're interested in these areas and these subjects. Now, in case of any doubts, any further doubts on robotics engineering, do ping us all the credentials are beneath this video. We can discuss more about this course, this future course. And until next Monday with another brand new video, see you all. Take care. Have a safe week. Thank you.